The Mesozoic era was home to many gigantic meat-eating dinosaurs, yet only a few approached the size of Tyrannosaurus rex. Even fewer could match or exceed it. Some of the more famous examples include Spinosaurus, Giganotosaurus, Carcharodontosaurus, and Mapusaurus. However, there is a lesser-known predator that might have been comparable to the Tyrant King, a dinosaur named Tyrannotitan. Tyrannotitan was uncovered in Argentina in 2005, along with several isolated teeth. Unfortunately, it is only represented by two incomplete specimens, but based on these, scientists estimate its size to have been between 11 and 13 meters in length, with a weight ranging from 5 to 7 metric tons. This massive predator lived during the early Cretaceous period, specifically the Albion stage, about 113 to 100 million years ago. Despite its name, Tyrannotitan was not closely related to Tyrannosaurus. Instead, it belonged to the Carcharodontosaurid family, a group that included other enormous hunters like Carcharodontosaurus, Acrocanthosaurus, Giganotosaurus, and Mapusaurus, as well as smaller species like Siamraptor and Concavenator. Tyrannotitan shared the closest connection with the South American Carcharodontosaurids Giganotosaurus and Mapusaurus, forming a smaller subgroup within this family. These three species all lived in Argentina, but they existed at slightly different times. Given the massive territory such predators needed to survive, it's unlikely that multiple species coexisted in the same region. Some researchers speculate that Tyrannotitan, Giganotosaurus, and Maposaurus might represent different stages in the evolution of a single lineage. As the oldest and most primitive of the group, Tyrannotitan could have been the ancestor of its more well-known relatives. Tyrannotitan shared many characteristics with other Carcharodontosaurids, but also had some unique features. One hallmark of the group was their deep skulls, which were proportionately large even for their massive bodies. Unlike Tyrannosaurus, however, their skulls were thinner and less durable, leading to a weaker bite force. To compensate, they relied on their teeth, which were broad when viewed from the side but narrow for slicing flesh. Tyrannotitan's teeth were distinct from those of its relatives. They were thicker and straighter, suggesting subtle differences in its hunting strategy. Another unique trait of Tyrannotitan was its solid vertebrae. While many other Giganotosaurus species had hollow bones to reduce body weight, Tyrannotitan's vertebrae were dense, making its tail heavier. The neural spines on its tail vertebrae were also taller, likely to support larger muscles needed to move this heavier appendage. Additionally, the spines along its back were higher than those of Giganotosaurus, giving its body a slightly more curved profile. Interestingly, Tyrannotitan's arms were unusually small, even compared to other Carcharodontosaurids. While they were tiny in size, they appear to have been surprisingly powerful. This is puzzling since small arms typically suggest reduced functionality, but in this case they may have played an important role in hunting. Even so, Tyrannotitan's primary tools for killing prey were its formidable teeth, which were well suited to tackling the enormous sauropods that lived alongside it. One of Tyrannotitan's contemporaries was the gigantic sauropod Patagotitan, which could have weighed as much as 55 metric tons. Some believe Patagotitan may have been larger than Argentinosaurus, another contender for the title of the largest dinosaur, though incomplete fossils make this uncertain. While adult Patagotitans were likely too massive for most predators, Tyrannotitan and other Carcharodontosaurids seem to have evolved a specialized hunting method. Instead of killing their prey in one swift attack, they likely inflicted repeated injuries with their blade-like teeth. Over time, the sauropod would succumb to blood loss, infection, or exhaustion. There's also evidence suggesting these predators may have started feeding on their prey before it even died, slicing off chunks of flesh as it weakened. This approach, called flesh grazing, would have been especially advantageous when dealing with such massive prey. Tyrannotitan may have also hunted in groups. Fossils of related species like Maposaurus have been found in clusters, suggesting they could have lived and hunted together. This behavior might have allowed them to take down enormous prey, such as Patagotitan, which would have provided enough food to sustain multiple individuals. Alternatively, Tyrannotitan may have been a solitary hunter that temporarily formed mobs to tackle such gigantic targets.
This strategy would balance the benefits of cooperative hunting with the need to avoid overtaxing local food resources. During Tyranno Titan's time, the region of Argentina it inhabited was a humid floodplain. Besides Patagotitan, not much is known about other animals from this period. However, a few species have been identified, including smaller sauropods, the primitive Ceratosaur geniodectes, and crocodilian relatives known as pyrosaurids. Finally, there's the question of how Tyrannotitan compared in size to Tyrannosaurus, and whether it was the largest theropod of all time. Unfortunately, due to its incomplete remains, it's difficult to make precise estimates about its size. This uncertainty also applies to other Carcharodontosaurids, as well as Spinosaurus. Giganotosaurus is currently considered the most likely contender for the largest Carcharodontosaurid, but only Tyrannosaurus is preserved well enough to provide reliable size measurements. Estimates for Tyrannotitan's length range between 11 and 13 meters, similar to the largest Tyrannosaurus specimens, Sue and Scotty. However, Tyrannotitan is thought to have been lighter, weighing 5 to 7 metric tons compared to Scotty's estimated 8.8 .8 metric tons. Even if Tyrannotitan wasn't the absolute largest predator, it was undeniably one of the most impressive carnivores to ever exist. Dominating South America during the Albion stage, it earned its place among the most formidable hunters of the prehistoric world,